G'day guys, my name's Josh, you can call me Zhawoodle, and welcome back to 7 Days, welcome back to my coffee shop, my wonderful cafe, but unfortunately the cafe is in the apocalypse. At the moment, I've got some bad news, I'm currently surrounded by a wandering horde, they just showed up a couple minutes ago, I was trying to get my life in order, but they said nah, so instead of doing anything productive, at the moment, I'm just cowering in fear. I did manage though, overnight to get some stuff done, oh my Forge is now done. Lovely. I've put up my to-do list. I've got to find some harvesting books. I've got to get further into shotguns. And I've got to make coffee. It is a cafe after all. But now that the sun is up... I think they're over there somewhere. I can hear them bonking on stuff. I want to go and try and clear that out wherever they are. But I also fixed up all of my farm up on the top story. I put in a quasi floor. A nice fancy floating floor. Apparently... Oh, yeah, no, nah, okay, cool. Apparently, that's what the rich people have, so I'm trying to pretend like I am. But I've fixed up my farm, got them all growing, moved my Jew collectors. So we're looking pretty good, as long as the zombies can stay away. So where... Where are they? Because the wandering... Oh, here we go. Here's... Oh, jeez. G'day, mate. You were, like, right inside my earlobes when you started squealing. Sweet parkour abilities are going to take away all of your oh, all of your athletic ability, though. So the wandering hordes do come with that higher chance to give me some loot bags, which I'm always bloody desperate for. Swing nice and early, get you gooey. That's going to say there's definitely going to be some more enemies. Oh, a rare enemy somewhere. You're not rolling knuckles anymore, Josh. You got to try and conserve your stamina. It's the one big issue with the sledges. Just wielding this thing absolutely cooks you. I think I got all of them. Oh, no, there's some more. There's some more. I was going to say, I think I got all of them, but I didn't get any loot bags out of it, which was an absolute stitch up. Swing early. Oh, got a collateral in there. Tried to get all... There we go. Trying to get all three at once, but didn't quite work out. Oh, aha. We can use... We can use our tried and true method. I'm standing inside the Dumpsey Clinic, which is giving me a loot level of 76 compared to standing in the street with a loot level of... Oh, only 57. So not that much of a boost, but I'll grab you from the threshold for two more seeds books. Read you, eat you, take the 44 so I can scrap it for brass, I guess. That was, that was dismal. That wasn't worth swinging the sledgy for. Oh, but that's worth swinging a sledgy for. Check the newspaper dispenser. It gave me the harvesting tools. Please be worth a double. If this is worth a double, I get my iron tools. Wasn't worth the double. Was <laughs> it? So close. One more book is all that we need. And then finally, once I get the iron tools, I can finally start cracking on with all the things I have to do at home. That's the ore crafting ability. Thank you. A bat book that I can sell and paper I can throw away. Come on, we're so close. Oh, there it is. There it is. Harvesting tools. Numb. I can now make iron tools quality one. I also found uh, Urban Comet Volume 4. I now land slowly while I'm crouched. Thank you very much. You bloody beauty. New town, new mailboxes, new things to loot. Same old cafe. We've just franchised. Now we've franchised out. It's a Woodle Coffee taking over the world. It's a, it's a Woodle Apocalypse now. But we're not going to waste any time with that at all. I don't need to worry about going into you because I have the wireless crafting. I and this is everything. I pickaxe first of all, because I want to get rid of the sign on the other side. Craft up, you probably don't need the iron shovel so much, but definitely the iron fire axe. That's going to use most of my iron, but that's okay. We're all good on that. Iron sledgehammer we've already made. We're good there. Ah, I suppose. I suppose. I can't leave you hanging. If I'm upgrading all of my tools, I may as well upgrade you too. Nice. Okay, so that's going to take like 10 minutes. I'm going to use that time to quickly run out to tradies. I'm going to hand in the quest from last night. But before I go, before I go, I need some fluids. After raging on the roids last night to get myself home, I need to get rehydrate myself. And actually, you know what? You know what? Listen, listen. If we're going to be on the roids, there's only one thing we need to do. Quickly whip up a thick 44 flag and chuck it. I mean, maybe on the, maybe on the wall of dicks. Nah, we'll put it over here. We'll put it over here. Grab you. We'll get the purple one. Because, of course, we are top hung. Yeah, you. Get you out of the way, please. And just chuck you right there. Right there. Because legends never die. Going to take the risky drop off the side. Probably didn't need to do that. Could have just gone the normal way. But any shortcuts are good cut by my standards. All right. 
New day, new objectives. Got off to a bit of a flowery start this morning, flailing about in a zombie, a zombie horde, but that's all right. We got away with it. So going forward, there's something that I need... I, I, I need to eat a shoe. I need to smother it in tomato sauce, maybe a sprinkle of grated cheese or something, and put that directly in my gob. Because I will admit, I was wrong. <laughs> I, I'm gonna give that. I'm gonna give that the dramatic pause that it deserves too. I was definitely wrong. I have been snoozing on pack mule forever. In fact, in originally before 1.0 was an alpha one again. Uh, before 1.0, pack mule was garbage. It was a waste of everybody's time. A waste of a skill point. It just wasn't worth it. But now. Now that the game's been retooled the way that it has, we're obviously uh, respecking, going with the forgetting elixir more often than not, um, is what you're supposed to be doing. I'm going to start putting points in the pack mule early on, because pockets are just rarer than hen's teeth. So if I can get my pockets sorted out, then respec out of pack mule later, that seems like the smarter way to do it, especially because I'm now into the strength stream. I think that's what I should be doing. Open the doors for me. That was better timing. G'day, jolly boy. How are ya? Great to see ya. I'm back. I don't think he has much more to give me, so jolly boy. Great job. Have I a little chin wag. Ready for you. So you got mullet. It's the same thing again. Molotovs or skill magazines. Now that I've got my iron tools, I think I'm going to take the Molotovs again. I feel like that's usually a better shout for me. What jobs do you have? Anything nearby? You've got to fetch and clear the jobs. just down the road. Sounds great. I've got nothing to turn into you. Um, all right, nice. Cheeky stab for good luck. I'll see you again in a little bit. I'm not in love with the sledgehammers yet. They still feel really slow and really cumbersome, but I'm hoping with a little bit of experience and some better stamina regen, I'm hoping they come into their own. This is the joint, the Ziegler residence or the Ziegler re residence. Either way, either or. Uh, I've gone out the back though, so I'm gonna quickly go check your letterbox. And I really just feel like, I feel like everything is trying to compete with the knives. I already checked the letterbox. I'm going to have to post and pat it. I feel like everything's trying to compete with the knives. Like the hunting knife obviously is so incredibly good. The bleed damage you get for no skill points uh, with the knives is just second to none. And the Shetty with its ridiculous decap ability... Until you start getting into, like, the insane nightmare stuff, like the max difficulty stuff, the machete is just off its face. So I think everything's just trying to, like, keep up with that and compete with that. And I don't think anything, especially early game, is really... <sighs> I hate this game! I hate this game so much! I swear it is a part of the code. It has to be. It happens way, way, way too often for it to be a kawinky dig. There is no way. There is no way I just spent almost two weeks of my life trying to find that goddamn book series to finally find it. Four seconds ago, I only just put that iron pickaxe on the craft and you waited till just long enough. Just long enough that it would have just finished crafting to give me a free one. I fucking hate this game. But I love this game. I like, I'm like, It's like Stockholm Syndrome at this point. There has to be something in the code that makes that a thing. There is no way that just happens to happen every goddamn time. You invest in a thing, you spend your resources on a thing, and as soon as that's done, you get a free one. Just because fuck you, that's why. Oh, don't piss on me, Noggin, and tell me it's rain. Sure, sure. Okay, like, at this point... Oh, this is just this is just a privilege. This is just a luxury compared to what you just put me through. I don't even care. Old mate's having a snooze. Let me take my anger out on you, please. Sit up and cop me bloody sledgy. Can't believe it. I can't, I can't believe it. <laughs> Husa, rub your goddamn earlobes and pretend like you're okay. <laughs> every time. Every time it happens to me, and every time it surprises me. <sighs> okay, well, put it behind your woodle and move on to the next one. Oh my god. It's just, I only laugh so I don't cry. It's rattled me. It's absolutely rattled me. Oh, that's a copper over there, though. It's the point where. Oh, I did break down the boards. Nice. It's the point where I forgot that I was actually on a raid and I should be taking it much, much more seriously. Boop. Almost got the follow up boop. I don't think he's having a. 
I think he was having a heart attack yet. I was going to say I don't think he is, but there might be some, <laughs> there might be some evidence to the contrary. Hmm. You broke down the bookshelves as well. That's why I always focus on the coppers, because when they go bang, I lose so much of the stuff that I'm after. If I hadn't got that follow-up shot, I probably would have probably would have got away with it. Anyone snoozing? Yep, definitely snoozing. I tried to turn my head off a little bit too late. You're gone. Ammo pile in the corner. Okay. Get it together, Josh. It's all right. It's still just seven days. You've played this game once or twice before. I'm sure you can figure this shit out. Just take it on its merits. There are so few of them, so try. I've unlocked fish tacos. Got a couple of books out of the cupboards. I've got some charred meat on me as well. Do I still have the quest to eat charred meat? No, I definitely did that. Did that very early on. Now we're fine then. Did you craft 20 pipe bombs? Place a cement mixer, make 100 concrete, chem station, and then craft some petrol. All right, fair enough. Plus all the trader quests. And open a trade. Oh, wait. Open a trade route between traders? Have I not done that? I've definitely... He doesn't have the option for special trade routes either. So um, I guess that'll come up later. All right, fair whackers. I'm very cucumbered, though. I might need to go outside and quickly chuck some shit into my bike, or actually I'll make a storage chest and turn the rest of that into frames. I still call them frames, and I think I always will. Is there... Is there a way out? Can I, can I get out to my bike, please? Or did the copper destroy the keys as well? <laughs> of course he bloody did. The satchel's gonna be up here somewhere. I've lightened my load considerably, so I'm no longer lugging around... Oh! A building's worth of guts. That was... Ooh! All right, they're up in the roof as well. That was a panic shot into your spleen. Sorry about that, Knackers, but fortunately not the spleen out of mystery, man. And I can still use my sense of smell. I'm up. Bonds are, mate. Level up. What did I say? What did I say I was going to do? I was going to put those points into Pack Mule. Three... Oh, it's only three more items. Three more items, but I can... Can I love? I can sort that out later on. Can you come down and join me, please? Or at least bring my arrows back. Oh, for goodness sake, I got you floppy and you flopped the wrong way. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Oh, that's probably why I didn't want to jump off. Sorry about your knees, but and you didn't bring my arrows back either. Wow, that was bad for both of us. And of course, after not finding them forever, I found two in a minute. I unlocked that one and I unlocked tier two. Iron tools. I've been absolutely stitched up today. I've been stitched up more than a well-repaired doll. That... <laughs> just not my day. Sometimes... Sometimes this is not your day. You try so hard and you come so far and in the end, it's just a big old sausage in the eyeball. Shit. Well... I guess, I guess we've just, we have to accept we've wasted a bunch of materials then. Because I've made all those tier ones, then I got one for free, and now I can craft tier twos. The one time as well. Normally, normally I wait, normally I hang out until I can make a slightly better one. That time I made it as soon as I could. This is why. I have like PTS crafting D. It's just, <laughs> this is why I'm broken the way that I am. There's a Loz having a snooze. Quickly, boop you. Was there... No, I still need to clear the area, so I'm not done just yet. I'm all the way up in the attic. Nah, oh, which means there's got to be like a death drop, isn't there? Yeah. Yeah. Gonna be a death drop. Well, I don't have anything to help with my stamina regen, so this is just going to be a bit of a problem. It'll be a little bit problematic. Let's just get in there and see what happens. I was going to say, I can land silently. I think they come from that way. There's no zombies there for the moment, though. I'm going to quickly open you with the bow, nice and quietly. Didn't wake up for my headlights, so... Oh, he's a feral, though. Oh, thank God. Thank God for the knockdown of the sledgy. Go power attack to finish you off. Wasn't taking chances. The rest of them were just through them. Okay. All right. We'll be all right. I'll do the looting later. And oh, actually, I might just loot you while I'm here. Bonk you open with the sledgey like it's a zombie face and take you with me. A lot of garbage on the ground. I don't think I have the... Shit. Oh, it's a copper too. I don't think I have the book that means that I can creep over trash and not make a noise. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I need you to get out of the doorway, please, copper. Oh, I need you to get out of the doorway, please. Oh, oh no! No, no, no! Holy shit! Um, 
All right, over we go. Over we go. Close the door behind you. Holy shit. Okay, I'm bleeding. I'm in a lot of trouble. I'm in a lot of trouble. I'm in so much bloody trouble. I just need any of you guys to die. I don't care if the copper pops. I just need all of you to be gone. Straight through the face. Gone. Good. Okay, back to the sledgey. Try and get you done. Holy shit, that was almost death. Holy shit, that was almost death. What is today? What is happening to me? I almost got trapped in a goddamn thimble with zombies on all sides of me. Holy shit. Every time I say that I hate death drops, that's why. They're so bad. The sledgey may have been the wrong choice. I'm not even paying attention while I'm looting. I should have got more excited. I found the super corn seed recipe. Yeah, nah, cheers for that one. Oh, I'm not wearing my heart rate monitor today. I was like, oh yeah, I'll just chuck it on for horde nights occasionally just because it might be a little bit of fun. I might have to start wearing it more often than not because, oh my goodness. Holy, well. That's going to take me a little while to get over. I, I don't know, like, I'm, I guess I could have done that better in several ways. I'm just not entirely sure how. I don't, because I don't have the weaponry for that kind of stuff. I don't have the weaponry for ferals and coppers and all sorts of things coming at me all at the same time. Oh, man. It's just, I'm just, I'm just having, just having a day. Got myself a Terry, the turret, though. It's here four. That's not actually too shabby. I'm wearing my read and tits, so read you, read all of you, take Terry with me. Everything else has already been unlocked, so I'm right to, ooh, right to crack on. Plus 4% XP out of you. It's also heavy armor. And Night Stalker Volume 7. 50% extra sneak damage to sleeping victims at night. Thank you. A Fortitude mod. Ooh, that's actually pretty interesting. Plus the gun save. I'm cucumbered, I know. A Darkwing mod for a shoddy machine gun parts. Uh, that is everything. What am I currently wearing? I'm... Drop? There's a Durpo today? Where? Where are, you, where are you winging it down, old mates? Oh, out that way. Out that way. Okay, so directly down to the south. Actually, not too bad. I can get rid of that box. You. Save waypoint as you. All right. All right. That's not actually too shabby. I can go over there and have a gander what you've brought me. But what am I currently rocking? I've got my food and water use less 10%. So it's such a good, such a good one to have. But I think either sneak damage... Or XP gain is going to be more beneficial. I just got out of fortitude, too. I just got out of fortitude. <laughs> you couldn't give me a strength AI chip? You've got to shove shit in my brain. At least make it worthwhile. I'm going to go with the propeller hat because, I mean, who can resist? If only, it still it still makes me so sad the, prop the propeller hat itself doesn't actually spin when you waggle your face around. We invested all this tech into making the knives on the stealth armor flop about like soggy noodles, but we can't get spinny boy propellers. Absolutely rude. Um, you, though, you can just take that one for now, I suppose, or free up some inventory space. I'm pretty shocked because on the rest of it, I'll take all of you with me. All right. Away I go. So now I'm going to be a little bit hungrier, a little bit thirstier, but that's okay. We can manage. Just, I mean, listen, I run a cafe. I have snacks and caffeine. I said, well, I need to worry about that. I think I'm going to have to leave some things behind again, just because there's not enough slots in my pockets, even with, with uh, Pack Mule. That's why I really think the Pack Mule more, uh, perk should give you another row of slots down the bottom that can't be gotten with pockets, just to make that even more valuable. Uh, you... Take it into the cart, be stuck, and turn you into a building block if we're doing anything for anyone. Ugh, yeah, like, there's this stuff that won't stack. So you guys, you can get sold back to tradie. That can just get scrapped for iron to free up some space, along with you and you. Although I might need you. If we're going into shotguns, I might need you to actually make myself some more shotgun rounds. Anything else I can get rid of? I keep carrying things I don't really need, like one polymer. What are you doing? Go away. Tradie boy, I'm back again. I've well, done your hello, bidding. my friend. How can I help you today? You, you can just help me. Made my day and cover my Duke payment. It's just. <laughs> oh, it's just sinking the boot in. It really is. You just. You are taking the genuine P155 now. I was. <sighs> Sure. Okay. Whatever. I'll take the bundle, though. Thank you. Any other jobs? I don't have. I don't have the special jobs, so I can't go unlock a trader. Uh, a, a trader routes. Fetch or a fetch and clear. You look like you could handle yourself. 
really auto or post office apartment. I'm gonna go a really auto to try and get some more vehicle books. Mate, mate, did I um, did I check your gubs? I feel like. Yeah, no, I did, because I sold you all the barber and books in the world. Tell right. you what. Oh, you had a, you you had a cooking book, though. Armor is top notch. I'm going to take you, and I'll take nothing else. Not Listen, there's a lot of things that could tempt me, but it's none of these. I think things will just get better when I have a just add in shotgun, but not a pipe shotgun, because it's genuinely basically a paperweight. In fact, if you threw a paperweight at a zombie, that would be a better solution than using the pipe shotty. But even just a dubsy would do, that's the wrong button, would do really well. Um, obviously, a pump shotgun would make me feel all sorts of wonderful things. I'm still in the camp that the pump shotgun is better than the auto shotgun. The auto shotgun, this is just such a letdown. It's not auto. It's slower than a bloody semi-auto. It just takes forever to do anything. So I never get excited about auto shotties. Oh, jeez, your shockers. Might be time for me to start upgrading my storage again because I can't shove any more shit into you. Wear my reading tits and chuck you in. Mortals Digest book, thank you. Hey, guys, look. Hey guys, look, aren't you, aren't you happy for me? My iron tools are done. Yay! <laughs> I've put all the relevant stuff away. I've now got all my tools on my belt. Why don't I have some mods for them? I only, ooh, I actually have weirdly armor mods and weapons mods, which I don't normally have. That's a, that's a rare treat. I've got no tool mods. And, yeah, okay, the opposite to usual, but that's all right. Uh, real quick though, which of these pickaxes is the better one? So the one I found for free is worse than the one that I made. Okay, fair enough then. Is it even worth selling you for 75 bucks? What do you scrap into? 150 iron. I'd rather I'd rather have the iron, to be honest. Um, okay, you though. Terry the turret, you can go in there for now. I'm not gonna be specking into intellect, so you're not gonna be fantastic. I think that's all pretty well and good. Chuck it back away. I need some fluids though. Drink your own merchandise and eat your own snacks. Where's my food? There's my food. Look at that. Look, we've got bacon and eggs. We've got blueberry pies. Wait, that's all you need at the cafe. That's fine. Breakfast and coffee. Just going to make sure things are cooking before I leave again. Let's go like 10 minutes into you. Campfire's going, cooking a whole bunch of stuff. You're going, doing a whole bunch of stuff. Things are growing. Things are cooking. Things are looking lovely. Nice. It's quarter past four. I've got time to do one more quest, I think. I'm really pushing. I'm really hoping I can push at least somewhat close to the cement mixer somewhat soon because that's gonna be oh i'm halfway there living on a prayer that's the only way really i'm gonna be able to control the way the zombies path by leaving my service window weak as cobble and making the rest of the building uh concrete that's how i can lure them around to come to the window to get their service but also get punched in the face with a sledgehammer exactly like that because I, I, I can't do it otherwise. Without a ridiculous amount of material and bulkifying up the cafe, making it look yuck. Nah, can't do it. Here we go. Aurelia's auto. Oh, there you go. Pop a cheeky bunny hop over the bloody gutters. Uh, I'm going to break him on you, Axe. Oh, so much better. <laughs> so much better. Break my new Axe by making myself a wooden storage crate because lately I've been having to put those things down anyway. So I may as well just make one at the start and be done with it. I heard the moany groany noise of a zombie somewhere. Oh, coming out of the bloody, ooh, black coming out of the foyer. There's a biker over there. I don't really want to fight him. Oh, I fight a biker, not missed it. Out, he didn't miss me though. Not going square up though, not going fair as fair. Can I get a little, a little pop on you early? Like that, get that sneak damage. No, oh, I hate bikers so much. I hate bikers so much. Wait on. Time it. Nice. Get you doing backflips and shit. Okay. There we go. They're so scary. When they start getting feralized, they're the worst. I've chucked my box down. I've reset the POI so everyone's coming out to say good day to me again. <laughs> Is that a bolo or am I just happy to see you? Who bloody knows? Quickly grab the bag for more rotten flesh, which I do actually need. None of the cars are lootable. All right, here we go. Nice and quickly, in, out, and away we go. I don't have heat. Oh, that's a feral. Um, listen. <laughs> I know self-checking out is a bit annoying. I don't like doing it, but when I get in a package like that, listen, I'll give you a beep straight through the scanner. 
I'm just going as quick as I can to try and raid all the shells on the way through. Don't really look at what I'm getting. It's just, it's just like, it's just all random stuff. Splitters, iron, clay, everything in between. Oh, some cement and coffee seeds. Thank you. And some glue and money. Yes, rotten flesh. I, I'm a new boy. I've learned. I've learned the value of rotten flesh because I've learned how good cans of sham are now. I've been sleeping on it. Lucky I'm in Zod. I've been sleeping on cans of sham thinking they still needed acid, but new recipe, acid free. I get it now. I get it. You get that recipe, you make yourself sham chowder. It's absolutely perfect. If I was still in Fizz, it would have been even more better because it gives you a point in fortitude, but I'm happy with how it is. There wasn't anything fun in the whole front room, so I'm moving on as quick as I can. Old Max just around the corner, away from the step out, so I can just sort him out. The regular zombies are starting to become fodder, really. I mean, as long as I don't have too many of them, I can usually deal with them pretty happily. This is a good place for office chairs. I'm gonna have to remember this. Oh, really, Auto? Early game where I'm looking for leather. Come here and get all the leather that you bloody need. All right, I'll definitely try to remember that for next time. Can I quickly get you out of the way with our brand new tools? <laughs> I'm still, I'm still dark. I'm still pretty pissed off at the chain of events this morning, but Oh, uh, well, no use hanging your hat on them anymore. Just got to move on from that shit and try and try and keep your chin up. <laughs> Even when the game just doesn't want you to. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. I don't know who I pissed off how, but they are not happy with me. Put from inventory like that. Are my guns loaded? Yeah, they are. All right, time to shine then. Get in there, Sledgehammer. Do your thing. You're supposed to be really good for crowd control. Then show me. It's just a bunch of regulars as well. It's not even like, not even any ferals or anything. Just a whole sea of zombified mess. Did you just, did you, I, I think I actually clipped. Oh, no, I didn't. I did clip it, but you didn't die. Now you're properly gone. Okay. All right, that was just, the, what, it was like a horn or something? That was an awful lot of zombies just to randomly show up like that. I was not ready. There's a broken vendor in the corner over here that I'm not going to miss the opportunity to take because you're going to give me some free steel. Oh, and it looks like there's someone else coming through as well. All right, I'm in a bit of a, a bit of a predicament between a rock and a very much hard place. Give me that steel, electrical parts, go faster, please. Come on, break her down. I need to get out of here. I've got to keep moving. I've got to keep moving. I spent way too much time here already. Go long. That should have been a much better shot. So how I missed. Try again. Oh, that's going to be a feral. That's going to be a feral that you don't get a juicy headshot like that and have her keep coming if she's not a feral. Oh, she dropped down. Oh, that was the worst timing. She took a step off the, gu the gutter. I'm so reliant on timing these swings properly now that when they do anything out of the ordinary like that, anything unexpected, I've got no time to counter it. Can't even get my arrow back out of the wall either, nor out of the zombie. I'm losing arrows hand over fist. The game's punishing me for not taking that book that gave me a better chance of getting him back again. Should be a zombie in there. And is a zombie in there. Nice. Better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. I know. The world's a dangerous place, and not just because the apocalypse happened. It's gonna poke my head down. In fact, that's a pretty good. Oh, jeez, there's a lot of broken. Oh, shit! A lot of broken doors around here. Oh, they're all coming. They're all coming. I can't. I was trying to hit her, and you almost got collateraled. That's another feral. Time it. And back down you go. Smeared your face imprint against the wall over yonder. Another feral. Back down the stairs. Anytime there's a choke point, I feel like I can back myself in. It's all that about how quickly I can swing the purple stick of doom. All right, you're gone. There's lots of zombies outside though, so real fast. Clear out, yeah, you. And your little crawler friend as well. Oh, cheeky loot bag. Thank you for the delivery. Couple of cooking books. Nice, nice. I know I'm cucumber, but we're fine. Where was, was there another one? No one in here. Are you down underneath still? Oh, it's a biker. It's a biker. Okay, stay there, please. Thank you very much. You can have me with my sledgehammer touch. One more. Sorry, one more. There you go. You make a liar out of me. I want to try and leave here nice and quickly. Make sure I'm harvesting the bodies for all the rotten meats. I can now get into boxes so much faster. Such a big upgrade. Such a big upgrade. It's why I wanted it so bloody badly. Car parts box. I'm wearing my read and stuff. So read you. Read you. Take the rest of you. You're going to make a claw hammer quality. 
claw hammer quality too. I'll take you to see if I can find... Ooh. Buying plus four percent. Thank you. And a strength mod. Thank you very much. Read you. First aid bando. I don't have you don't have extra slot, you do? No, you don't. I don't have anything. Mm, it has to go in the helmet too. I don't have an extra slot mod for you. I could probably make my own armor, but that'll have to happen later. Alright, just put on some gloves. We'll find it. We'll find We'll find the toilet. I have to do the stun button challenge at some point soon, but not yet. Not yet. I'm not gonna I refuse to touch the thing until I absolutely have to. Here we go. Here we go. There you go. Perfect. Chuck you in. Flush you down. See you later. See you never. <laughs> Unfortunately, see you soon. It's just the rules. It's I don't make the rules. I just live by. You find a stun button, you gotta flush that shit. I don't like my chances. I'm gonna try and get back to trading. Oh, it's gonna be close. It's gonna be close. And in fact, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna build myself a box out the front of the gates and try and run in there on the hoof. I'm not gonna rob a bike in, even though I can open the doors with the bell, which I love so much. It's still just gonna be a really bad idea. I don't wanna get my bike trapped in there and I'm way too slow when I'm a cucumber to actually make a good meal of it. So, build a box outside the gates, just dump shit into it. I can pedal myself home afterwards. I need, I need so many more pockets. How am I always so stacked? Here you go. Just hold all of that for me, please. My bike's well and truly outside. It takes a second to realize I'm not Q covered anymore. Double tap the doors. Trady Potato, how you bloody doing? I'm back. I'm good. I'm a little bit hurt. It's been a bit of a day. Gotta look for every occasion. So make your final selections and head up to the cash register. Time nice. Let's get another job for you. So art of mining, diamond tip blade mod, 10% more, more damage with 44s or magazines. I'm going to take the diamond tip blade mod. It's always a good one to have. Any jobs that are tempting. All I might right, actually take you. Here's what we got. Oh, where actually, where actually are you? Job might be nasty. You know what? No. You, you know what? Nah. Nah. I need Just to do one be more safe. before I can um before I can get to the next level. I don't remember what uh, rewards he gives me. I really don't actually. What rewards gives me for level two? I guess we'll find out soon enough. Make sure I read you. Uh, I should have most of these things already. Take all of that back again. <laughs> I'm gonna have to get rid of some stuff though because I need to make some space. I still got the drop to go and get. Perfect timing. I can see the drops are too far out there. Some of the trees have started to regrow. The bushfire's not permanent. In fact, um, if you weren't aware, in Australia, we have bushfires all the time, which sucks. But a lot of our plant life needs the heat of a bushfire to germinate the seed. So it's actually just a part of the life cycle of the forest. And that's what's happened here. All the trees are regrown, which is bloody beautiful. We'll be back having some sort of a environment before too long. God, it's so far away. I thought it was much closer. I thought it was just on the outskirts of town. Here we are. No zombies to speak of, which is good. Quickly have a gander at you. Where you, so I can read you. Oh, I can eat you straight away, actually. Some wood cubes. I can just use them for fuel, I guess. Red tea, get that in straight away. Um, Here, can you just hold on to that and like that and that for me for the moment? Open you. Reread, read. Reread, read, read, read. I can have my iron tools quality three. What a day it has been. <laughs> It has been a day. You can come with me instead of... Who wants to get thrown away? 65 lead. I've got pumpkin seeds. I've got blueberry seeds. Mm, what's the least... 11 nitrate. I was going to say, what's the least valuable thing that I have here? It's always... It's all... Oh, always a tough share. G'day, Piggly Wings. Look at the swagger. I don't need to kill you right now. I don't, I don't have any room to take your voluptuous meat back home so you can keep on swagging you through through the apocalypse it's fun it's fun he's got that moves like jagger got the moves like porker swing my bike the wrong way up the drive through so i can park it just in front of my window so i can uh oh 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 there you are okay i was gonna say so i can reach through and oh, stupid bollard reach through and grab the stuff that i need up we go Actually, I really like it. I really like how this little cafe is coming together. I almost didn't make it home to it again today. I almost almost left myself trapped in the bloody bedroom in some random house out there. No one's idea of a good time, but it's fine. It's fine. I'm here. We're all good. Chuck my seeds in. My sellables away. And my armor parts. I have all this random armor. I know there is like the armor stands mod now, which I want to use so much, but I don't really have the room 
for that right now. So I might have to start scrapping this stuff for the armor parts themselves and make my own higher level armor. Because if I can make the... Like a tier 3 nerdy gogs to replace this one, that should have... That sh that's going to have the mod slots. And with the mod slots, I can get the, the free skill. Hmm... Yeah, I think that's I think that's the play. I really think that it is. That's gonna be the thing I think. Overnight, I'm gonna make myself. It's basically already there. I just need another armor crafting kit. Armor crafting kit, which I can make. Oh, I was gonna say overnight. I'll do it instead. I was gonna do it exactly now. Nice. Can I wait? Oh, sorry. Grab you. Out of there. There we go. Craft up you. It all happens very bloody quickly with wireless crafting. It's just like that and the bell ring to open trader doors. Like quality of life mods. I don't think there's any better than those. I really don't think there is. And with that, I can grab you. Whack that on me, new goggles. In you go. Beautiful. And that gives me a free level of strength. So I can put the next points. Not quite a big and fast. Not quite into Skull Crusher. Another level of Pack Mule. Another three. It's a whole new Woodle. It's a whole new Woodle. Well, I'm going to have to come back and continue to come to grips with this new found tactic in seven days that I've definitely not been sleeping on for a long time. In fairness, it only just got good. It was rubbish. Now it's better in 1.0 or update one, alpha one, whatever this is. But I'll have to come back and continue to learn all the things I've been sleeping on and hopefully not die in the next episode because this episode is done. So thank you guys for watching. Most of all, thank you to the pages of Patreon who made this episode possible. If you liked, make sure you hit the like button down below and subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Twitter, but don't talk to you there first. I'll see you in the next episode. Have a good one.